We've proven that ain't nothing wrong with our bodies. Football proves that. Basketball proves can't nobody run and tackle like we do it. Can't nobody jump and do it like we can do it. Is that, is that right? Can't nobody, we, now can't nobody even golf like we can do it. And you know they didn't plan on no black man being the king of golf now. Because when you get the final prize, you get to wear the green jacket. They call that the masters. So you know they didn't plan on no slaves being the best at the game. Turn on tennis. Can't nobody do it like Venus and Serena. Can't nobody do it like Tiger was. Nobody's done it like Jordan. Nobody can do it like LeBron. And nobody can do it like Kobe. We have the body. The problem is there's something wrong with our minds. In nature, whenever there's a, a mammal or an insect that has physical power but lacks mental strength, they consider that animal or insect to be a victim of what is called premature cognitive commitment. That means that they can take an elephant as a baby and tie an elephant to a string. And as that elephant tries to break that string as a baby, every time it's unable to go free, it sends a message to its memory bank that I cannot break this string. As time goes on, when the elephant becomes full grown, big enough to pull up the string and the whole tent down, the elephant can still be bound by that little string, not because there's something wrong with the legs or the back or the trunk, but something wrong with the mind of the elephant. They took fleas and put them inside of a jar, put a piece of plastic over top the jar. When the fleas jumped up and hit their head on the plastic, they began to send a message to themselves that this is as high as we can jump. One day you can remove the plastic and the fleas will never jump out of that jar. They will continue to jump to the same level, not because there's something wrong with the fleas' legs, but because something has happened to the mind of the flea. You can put fish in an aquarium, put a piece of glass in between the aquarium, and the fish will swim, and every time they are stopped at that said spot, they will return and they will send a message to themselves that this is as far as I can swim. One day you can remove the glass and the fish will keep turning around at that same spot. Nothing wrong with the gills, nothing wrong with the fins, it's something wrong with the mind of the fish, the mind of the flea, the mind of the elephant. Ain't nothing wrong with our body, brothers and sisters. It's something wrong with our mind that has us not getting what it is that we should be receiving. Y'all with me? However, there's one neutralizing force that if you put it on that elephant, that flea, or that fish, they are gonna break through. All you gotta do is put a little fire on one side of that aquarium put a little fire underneath that jaw, catch that tent on fire at the circus, and the elephant going to pull the tent down, stomp the people, smash the cars, and the flea going to jump out the jaw, and the fish going to swim to freedom. Well, that's why all praise is due to Allah. That's what we need right now as a people. We need the fire put on us. So Allah, God promised that he was going to put fire on America fire designed to chastise and burn our enemy, but that same fire for our enemy to burn and chastise them is designed to stimulate us. So the scripture says that one baptized in water, but that last one that comes will baptize in fire. And when you hear Farrakhan, you are hearing truth that is being fired at the mind to move us on the other side of the aquarium, out the jaw, pull the tent down and get what Allah promised you and me. All praises are due to Allah. All praise is due to Allah. All praise is due to Allah.